What do you got? Deceased fits the MO, stab wound, ligature, killed elsewhere. Things probably changed a lot since he left. You still gotta catch him, right? Yeah. Not that much has changed, then. I think there's just something so unbelievably evil, outlandish, and horrible that we want to examine. Serial murders, serial killers, unsolved crimes are fertile ground. My basic homework was watching people, their behavior. It's a complicated story. This is the world we live in, and thought that was interesting. Somebody's got some homework to do. We've seen the genre before, but the story itself is completely different from anything we've ever seen. It's a dig in and dive deep. It was a lot of work. You have to pay attention to the detail. You go to places that normally you would never go. We're trying to get it right. We have our consultants to help us with crime scene investigation as well as homicide investigation. In the early 90s, I was actually working in South Central Los Angeles. I was one of the original LAPD cold case homicide investigators. And during the making of this film, I actually participated in interviews of two different serial killers. I sat down with Tim quite a bit and have been hounding for information. I can see how they get excited about the work. It's literally the little things. You start building a case, and I don't know what it is. It's a strange kind of high. The better you get at it, the more murders you work. If you're not careful, you can take a slide at home or in your personal life. The movie is a thriller, fast-paced, exciting. I think it's rather unconventional, surprising, and I think a lot of people are going to be shocked. Dead, forgotten. They're your lifelong responsibility. You own them. Hands on your head! It's never over.